But music is silenced and entertainers are out of work and there's no telling when performers will light up the stage. Independent venues around the city are now joining a national effort to help them survive. Alexa Helwig tells us why local music spots need financial support to get through the pandemic. Seats at Cincinnati music venues haven't been filled for months. We actually closed our doors on March 11th um, and I'll never forget we had an act in the space here ready to go on that night. Joshua Steele is the manager of Memorial Hall. All shows have been canceled or postponed and there's no telling when Cincinnati's live music scene will be revived. We were the first to close and we're going to be the last to reopen. You know, as you look at these um, reopen plans uh, across the country, they all have large capacity events at the very end of their plans. Memorial Hall, along with other music venues like the Woodward Theater, have joined a major effort. The National Independent Venue Association started a movement called Save Our Stages. It's lobbying for specific financial support and changes to the federal paycheck protection program. It's very difficult for independent venues to to meet the threshold of 75% uh, of that loan being spent on uh, employees. No shows means no income at the Woodward Theater. It's a unique and dire situation for live music across the country. Dan McCabe says once venues do reopen, it'll still be a stretch to pay the bills. Once we're allowed to operate, it'll be under diminished capacity uh, and our ability to, to pull in the revenue to sustain uh, even the, the performances and the staffing is going to be very difficult. So more than 1,200 independent venues are asking legislators for help because it's more than just the music industry that's impacted. Chicago just released a study through Neva uh, that reported a dollar for every ticket is usually uh, equates to $12 spent in the neighborhood. In Over the Rhine, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. And Cincinnati has started its own effort for venue owners. It's called Public Assembly Alliance. It's to help advise local leaders how to reopen their industry.